we're back from the test drive and we're now in the showroom. Let's take a closer look at this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous vehicle. So we're gonna start off with our engine bay covers uh, removed. We have them in the back, we're gonna take a look at them. But before we put them back on, let's check out this absolute and stunning beauty. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, this is an approximately an 18 year old build that was practically never used. It was only displayed from what we know uh, from the owner of the vehicle. And of course, when we got the vehicle, it was running, it was running, but the carburetors clearly needed to be overhauled and uh, cleaned. So what we end up doing, we actually got approval from the vehicle owner to install brand new set of Holley carburetors. That's what you're looking at. This vehicle absolutely deserved it. I'm glad the owner decided to do it this way rather than cleaning the original carburetors. And this car runs incredible. We had it on the road and you've heard it. I think the entire neighborhood heard it. So now we're in the showroom in our quiet, beautiful Alpha Car showroom in Boxborough, Massachusetts. And we're checking out this 1932 Ford Coupe. Yes, it is a fiberglass body. And we're gonna take a look at the condition and the beautiful job that was done on the fiberglass. The engine covers are metal. The front grille, as you can see, this beautiful grille work is machined aluminum, nicely, nicely done. And these beautiful glowing amber lights, metal, a lot of metal on this car. The cab is fiberglass, and there's a good reason for that. For those of you that know the difference, you will appreciate the quality of this build. Okay, so uh, again, I'm gonna move the camera just around the engine compartment to show you the beauty of this uh, build. And as you can see, the hardware is in impeccable condition. There are absolutely no leaks. It looks like new, even though it was built many years ago, but it's, it was nicely done. Uh, we did install a new fuel pump with the new carburetors. You can see it right here. I'm showing you a close up of all the details. And for those of you that ever built these toys, you can appreciate the materials and the fit and finish, the materials that was used and the fit and finish that was applied when installing uh, these gorgeous parts. And by the way, if by chance we miss anything with this video, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be happy. We'll be happy to uh, provide you the information you're looking for. Look at the firewall, beautiful uh, purple uh, color, nicely done and goes very, very well with the black. The quality of the paint job on this vehicle is simply stunning and the machine work, as you can see, is incredible as well. So let's take a look at the covers while they're off the vehicle. They're in impeccable condition. A lot of times we have to show, and especially on a, a vehicle this age, we have to show some imperfections. There's gonna be very little to none. On the covers, there's nothing on the outside that uh, needs to be disclosed. Of course, there are minor uh, I wouldn't even call it, yeah, like right here, there's a little chip, basically chips on the contact points where the uh, brackets go in. The, the painted surface is absolutely impeccable on both sides. And we're gonna look at the uh, top cover, metal, heavy gauge metal. The edge guard shrunk a little over the years. So there's a tiny little gap right here. We're actually gonna fill that in 
Otherwise, it's a nice, smooth finish and absolutely impeccable piece. Gorgeous paint job, nicely machined brackets that fit perfectly into the locking system, which we're going to explore that in a moment. And we're looking at the other cover. Yeah, that's just dirt right there. Very, very clean, impeccable condition. So uh, let's put them back on the engine and I'll show you how these locks work. We're obviously not going to be able to put side covers because of the straight pipes, side pipes. Uh, we do have a box from the previous owner, uh, actually from the existing owner. We're showing this vehicle and representing it for the existing owner. Uh, there is a set of um, side mufflers. They have not been installed. They look like they're new. We believe it's everything, but we cannot guarantee it. So uh, for those of you that are very interested in the vehicle, we will put that in the description and we will list uh, the parts that will be included with the vehicle. So right now we're not going to be installing side covers, obviously. Look at these machined uh, brackets, polished uh, metal. And then there is this linkage that goes to the inside of the vehicle. And then there's a machined knob here that will be pushing in uh, as soon as we install the top cover. So let's uh, get to it. I just placed the top cover. And as you can see, everything is lining up. These are the locking pins that's gonna go into place and lock that. And in order to do that, we will be pushing that lever, or if we're right here, we can actually just do it from here. So we just did it on this side. And again, that is something that can be done from this lever. And we'll do the same on this side. All we need to do is just squeeze that now. Everything lined up and it's nice and tight. It's definitely not going anywhere. So let's look at the rest of the vehicle. And before we do that, I'm gonna move those side covers uh, away from the vehicle. We do have the uh, soft material to wrap them. I unwrap them to show them to you. We're now looking at the 1932 Ford in its beauty. Uh, check out all the body lines. We'll show it to you in just a moment. We're gonna close the trunk. And this is a power trunk, so there's a button. I forgot to close it, so we're gonna close it now. So now we can talk about body lines. The fit and finish on this build is simply amazing. The condition of aluminum, chrome, painted surfaces, and the hardware is breathtaking. We obviously gonna have a detailed set of photos, so definitely visit alphacars.com. And if this vehicle is still available, you will be able to see the detailed listing identifying the uh, high uh, lights of the build and certainly there will be a lot of high resolution photos. Uh, this listing will be included, uh, this video will be included in the listing. And now that we made our walk around the vehicle, I'm gonna comment on the condition of the paint. Yes, it is a fiberglass body with exception of the hood covers. Those are heavy gauge metal. The way this fiberglass job is done is simply amazing. I've seen a lot of fiberglass on a variety of vehicles, and this one is simply probably one of the best jobs, if not the best.
So we're going to be looking at some fine details right now. Uh, the fit of windows. Check that out. And the windows do have, uh, as you can see, they're glued, glued in windows with the uh, sealant around the perimeter, which is in great condition. You can see a little bit of, uh, on the inside, you can see a little bit of sealant just kind of like just did not connect to the window all the way. You can see what looks like bubbles, but it's actually uh, air gaps between the, between the sealant that was used to glue the window in and uh, the window itself. But there's plenty of sealant on the outside of that. You can see, you can only see it under close up. But again, we're full disclosure, so we're going to show it to you all. And uh, but the way that edges are finished, and the way the transition from the sealant to the painted surfaces is impeccable. Also the gaps, we have to talk about that. The gaps are incredibly uh, straight, consistent, and don't forget this is 18 years old. If it held up this long and so straight, it's not going anywhere. Uh, we have not found, we did not see any uh, stress cracks or any cracks or any imperfections in the fiberglass throughout. Walking around the rear of the vehicle. This thing is gorgeous. It's just so, it's cute and at the same time it has uh, such a muscle that uh, when this car was in the showroom with people in the showroom everybody was drawn to this vehicle i'm gonna grab a little bit of underbody because the underbody is actually the prettiest part of this automobile plenty of ground clearance so we're going to be able to show you everything and the way the underbody is finished, it's the same quality paint, smooth, uh, no sand marks, as it is on the outside of the vehicle. It is clear that whoever was working on it, as they should have, they paid just as much, if not more attention, to the underbody as they did to the exterior paint. Check this out. another angle for you and now from the sides can you imagine doing that each part each piece of hardware each square inch of the surface on the underbody, engine compartment, interior, exterior, roof, engine panels, everything was given the same top level attention without cutting any corners. And now from the driver's side. And the color of the underbody and the engine compartment firewall is so uh, tastefully selected. I'll take another opportunity to show you hardware details. And then we are up to the firewall of the engine compartment. Front suspension is the piece of art for sure. This car belongs to a museum, but it wouldn't be a stranger to the drag strip. It has so much insane raw power from the supercharged American built V8. Let's take another walk around the 32 Ford under a different camera angle.
Well, we're done with all four wheels. The back wheels, for the coolest appearance, you don't see a valve stem. So there are little adapters that get uh, plugged in so this comes out and another piece goes in to be able to adjust and tire pressure and inflate the tires. Well, it's time to get inside the car. Check out this gorgeous uh, upholstery work. Everything from the carpet down to the quality of the seat with nice upper back support, with nice thigh support, and overall very, very comfortable, very firm, and yet comfortable seating. I was in this car when we took it out for a drive, and it was simply amazing. Uh, because it was actually very quiet. Check out this V8 sign. We have some cool controls here. That's a lever on the right side. That is the lever to lock the uh, upper hood cover. From the right side, we have power windows. Yep. And actually decent amount of headroom and again quality of the finish on the interior is simply amazing. A cute rear view mirror, uh, actually a functional one. We have uh, some nice gauges. voltmeter, oil pressure, speed, water temperature, and of course how much fuel you have. We have one of the coolest uh, shifters right here, nice and crisp. You push this button in, you're able to put it in park, reverse, drive, and of course downshift gears. So let's not forget to turn the ignition off and we'll get on the other side as you notice there are no outside door handles so you need to reach in and there is this little thing that you press down again it's all machined parts the quality of the Fit and finish on the interiors, it matches up with the rest of the job, top and high quality job. And you can see there are really no imperfections here. We're looking at absolutely gorgeous uh, job and the condition. So let's see, we're gonna move the seat forward. Yeah, I'll show you the headliner. The wires are neatly done. All the harnesses under the dash, nicely done. The steering wheel, the steering wheel column, everything is nicely done. Uh, check out, looks like a parking brake right here. Interesting. And then we can adjust the seat over on the other side. Let's check that out. It does have seat belts. Yep, that will allow us to move the seat. This folds the seat back down. And we have some cargo area in the back. And again, beautifully done upholstery job. Steering column, nicely done wiring. machined aluminum uh, bracket system for the gas pedal. Yeah, 
it is substantial again all the harnesses everything is done nicely under the dash and wait until we get in the trunk that's another beautiful scene to get in the trunk you need to push this little button right here and when you push that down you can activate So what do we have here? We have the most important part of this car is a little detailing kit. You definitely want to keep it nice and clean and that's going to come with the car. Once you made it look beautiful, you want to preserve that, you'll have a nice and soft car cover. It also will come with a car. Look at this 1932 uh, original Massachusetts license plate. It is substantial. It's actually heavy gauge metal. And then we have this book. The book is pretty cool because it actually has all the components that were used in this vehicle. And it has installation instructions and owner's manual. Everything from supercharger down to power locks. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but it's all here, all here. So there's a full wiring diagram for gauges and everything else. So I guess the only thing we're missing, truly missing, is the fire extinguisher. Uh, but we do have the bracket and you can place your favorite fire extinguisher right here and hopefully you will never ever have to use it on this car or any other car. And back here, we actually have access panels for some cool stuff. There's a gas tank right there. Obviously, your electrical power distribution panel with relays, fuse boxes, power connection. Beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, Actually, this is better done than our server room. So this is like, wow. And our server room, by the way, is nicely done. By no means I'm saying there's something wrong with it. Okay, so we have the trickle charger connection right here. Uh, we have the audio module right here. Again, the gas tank down below. So, uh, and there's a b battery. Uh, this panel uh, bolted on... Uh, which is, by the way, nice construction. But uh, there's a battery that is brand new that we just installed with the approval of the vehicle owner. And it's a nice heavy-duty battery, by the way, dry battery, dry cell battery. So that's all there for you. Let's close the trunk. don't have to slam the doors but if you do I don't think there'll be any damage because these have these doors have actually really good functional door locks and these heavy-duty hinges but uh, it takes very little effort to close the door and it closes nicely um, and uh, while this was an older build uh, we believe it was about 18 years ago when this vehicle was built but it was never used there's not a one single crack anywhere on the fiberglass body and the paint is absolutely incredibly impeccable there are so many features in this vehicle and we're going to show them to you so please visit our listing online at alphacars.com and today we are going to start this engine and probably take it around the block as you can see, it has a straight pipe. We also have uh, 
an exhaust system, side exhaust mufflers, but right now we're going to start it with a straight pipe. Hi, Joe. How are you? How are you? I'm doing fine. Was it fun working on this thing? Oh, yes. So thank you very much for staying with us and checking out this 
gorgeous 1932 Ford Coupe with us here at Alpha Cars in our Boxborough location. This is one of our showrooms right next to our uh, service center. We have some phenomenal vehicles here and uh, this Ford probably is the most exciting vehicle we have seen in ages. And yes, it is very loud, but it is that type of loud sound that we all love. So thanks again for viewing the video. Don't forget to subscribe and certainly let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking the like button. Thank you.